Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, the city of Yerushalam. Coming back at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. The name of this one is Famine and Killer Food. Alright? And um, we're going to take in part of this video you see on screen from a call from our for uprising. Alright? Basically, itemizing, you know, and showing you, you know, the, the wicked plans of the global elite. Alright? With respect to Jake, you know, especially Jake, you know, in terms of food. Alright? You know? Food is something that is important. As they say, if you control the food, water, and the clothing, right? What you do? You control the people, right? And that's for those who would have faith anyway, you know? Alright, so basically, you must be able to comply to what to eat and to drink, okay? And how we eat and drink out, you know, in today's society, alright? You have to buy and sell, alright? You buy and you buy, you purchase your food. Right, most people don't grow. So then the bridge goes back into um, the Revelation 13 and 16 in, in the first place. You know that, that M to the A to the R to the K, that C to the H to the I to the P. Alright? Show me that, show me what you know that 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 that's what they're gonna that they gonna use food to get people to, to take that stuff. To take that karagma. Alright. And meantime, you know, even if you take it. Right, you ain't gonna be eating anything good anyway. So let's take a look at at, at, at what the um at what these devils doing right now. Alright? And what they plan to do. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I've been covering the food supply issue here in America and around the world. They're obviously blaming it on countless ridiculous things, including Ukraine, because apparently they control the world food supply. Huh? They're blaming it on Fertilizer shortages because of traffic on the railroads. They're blaming it on cyber attacks. They're blaming it on the bird flu. Yeah, you know, all these things blaming it on 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 an airplane flying into into the warehouses and factories of these food plants, processing plants. All right, it's all a bunch of lies and hypocrisy. But what can you expect from a devil? All right, just a so-called white man, especially starting with the global banking elites. And it continues and continues and continues. And a subscriber on the website, Sean Fitzpatrick, who posts a lot of great stuff over there. I want to thank him for sharing this. He shared this video, and I want to show you what's going on in regards to the fish supply. Now, over the years, we've known that they've been dumping fish from the sky and putting fish into the ocean that are just coming from apparently a laboratory. We know that they make lab-grown meat. We know they make lab-grown fish. And this is extremely concerning I'm going to show you a clip here of somebody who yeah. bought what is supposed to be wild-caught fish. And, of course, we know that anything on the label, you might as well just ignore because these people are liars. They've been liars from the beginning, and everything they do, they lie. The wicked eye stream from your womb. They go stream as soon as you're born speaking what? Lies. Okay? About. So even if it's labeled organic or it's labeled wild-caught, can you really trust these people? At the end of the day, the answer is obviously no. The scripture says in you know, Sirach 12 and 10, never trust thine enemy. Alright? And that's why, you know, these are things that were written before time for our learning. Let's get Sirach chapter 12 and verse 10. It says, Never trust thine enemy. For light as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Alright? So you mean that when iron rust is different layers of rust, you know you never you can never you can never um Get off all the layers. Alright? They're wicked to the core. Through and through. This is why the scripture calls them the border of wickedness. It's even the food. You know, they, they're destroying. Alright? They're defiling. They def this devil, you saw, he defiles anything he touches. And you certainly can't trust the FDA, the CD, or any of these organizations who I can't even name here on YouTube because there's, rec there's restrictions in place for questioning them. And what they do but take a look anyway at this video clip that was shared yeah they're gonna call it medical misinformation on the website which is really really disturbing in regards to fish uh does this look like fish to you i bought the 
this brand fish you said it's supposed to be wild caught right wild caught from ecuador now i ain't knocking nobody hustle but this just don't seem kosher to me now watch this this is a slice of fish this is supposed to be whitey right? it's got skin on everything look at it right the insides of it is like a diaper material look at that you know like a wet diaper right now watch this now where do you know a fish you can squeeze it like a sponge like this where on the planet you know you can squeeze a fish like that now look put it back in the water and it's whole again it's a fish see get another slice but i know it probably got them but i ain't never seen them like this you know i seen them this was the biggest i remember seeing them like this right here and look it's all the same you squeeze it like a like a sponge look it ain't breaking up or nothing and you put it in the water and it's a whole fish again right fraud that's not fish artificial fish right most likely grown where in a lab all right without nutrition you know which gonna lead to what health problems and and eventually what death all right you see that fish that that ain't no fish that's a lot like a sponge or a piece of rubber all right because usually as you're gonna explain you no know, fish fish usually breaks up normal fish that is all right as i say this is just another one of um one of esau's um genetically modified shit you know basically you know to kill us to basically to kill us out you know that as well as um the fact that he's dumping a whole lot of sterile fish into the oceans and into the into the lakes right these fish have been genetically modified to be sterile right so you, when they breed with a normal fish they're not going to produce any offspring which is going to lead to what a great reduction in the population of fish in the seas in the rivers and the lakes all right let's listen to some more now how crazy is that now can somebody explain this to me look another piece squeeze it like a sponge with fish right and we know that they do this stuff we've seen them constantly talk about it. i'll talk about bill gates as well in fact, let me go to our scripture let's bring in our scripture here Have a cook, chapter two, verse four. It reads, "Behold, in fact, yeah, behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him yet his pride, but the just shall live by his faith, right? Because you know, even of us, we gonna live by our faith. In time coming up here, you know, our Lord, you know, Yahweh Shai told us from back, from way back then, two thousand one, two thousand years ago." All right, that you know we we would pretty much roughly paraphrase and pretty much we would more than the, the birds of the air and the lilies of the field all right and if the lord feeds them and take care of them of how much more he will take care of us all right so habakkuk 2 and 5 it says yea also because he transgressed by wine he's a proud man wine is his doctrines right his human transhumanism right his genetically modified organisms all right artificial food all right everything in opposition to what to to to, to what to yabashim yoshai's creation all right neither keep it at home who enlarge it is desire as hell and is as death so this is devil is like death bringing death to anything he touch okay he has a death touch he saw edom so-called white man all right and cannot be satisfied so he can't be satisfied with all the control of the world he wants to kill out all the population too you want to leave you want to have ultimate control of everybody and how are we going to get out you know a major way you know it's true it's true food food and water and clothing all right but food and water all right you know and by selling the lies the lying miracles you know you know this is what this devil is all about deception okay so cannot be satisfied but got it on him all nations and he put on him all people but the point is he's like hell and death all right He's like hell and he's like death. You know, when you think hell and death, you know, a perfect example is Elon Musk and Bill Gates are hell. Right? 
you know, who's actually going into the fish industry as well. All right, let's play this. Gates as well and his fascination and interest suddenly over the last few years in fish because obviously they've thought about people who are trying to go off the grid or trying to, uh, you know, who are going to try to eat on their own after they do these massive food shortages who are not going to want to comply with the rationing that they're going to start doing because they want more control over the people. They want people to turn to the government. Some people will say, you know, I don't need to turn to the government. I'll take care of myself. Well, they'll control that food supply chain as well by putting artificial fish in there, which will not have the same nutrients as regular fish, which will be pretty much likely fish that could even make you sick. Or and that's exactly what's going to happen. You know, brothers got dreams in already, you know, G comes trouble with people who just getting sick all right it's going to be because of, because of the rationing of the nutri nutrition they're going to give the bad nutrition they're going to be getting from this genetically modified food all right why to kill them out you know to, to finish them off to health problems in the future but this is how they get these types of fish like that rubber fish that you saw into society <laughs> Division of Wildlife Resources, or DWR, shared this unique footage from their summer aerial fish dumps, a practice that restocks over... This devil will be dropping his corrupted fish into the lakes. 200 of you... That tiny size, combined with the low height from which they're dropped at mountainsides, flight making it both the most cost-effective option and this i mean it, he said it felt like a dubber uh, you know for anyone out there that's uh you know had a piece of fish like that so another thing of note of course with this is because all all i always hear the expression all things lead to the vatican which or to rome which is true and all things also lead to bagelville he said all things eventually to build to build it's a hell but ultimately it goes beyond him, it goes to the elite bank, and elite, the Rush Charlie, Rockefeller, and DuPont, the Oppenheimers. These are the guys who pushing men like Bill Gates and Elon Musk. All right? You know, because these guys investing heavily, and when, of course, um, buying up farmland, you know, paying off farmers to, to dump their crops. All right? All in effort to, to what? To reduce pop, the crop, real food. To reduce real food and bring online their, their fake food and then to, then to ration it out to control the population. And this was all about, you know, you have fake meat created with syringes, all right. And guess what? All of these things, all of this fake food, all right, is 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 approved by the FDA, okay. You know, yeah. And Jake's so foolish, you know. They just be believing everything that they that that they told, all right. You know, because Lord sent them strong delusion, all right. All of a sudden, you know, these guys care about you. All of a sudden, they want to give you um, a jump shot. They want to give you the C to the H, the I to the P, which is coming very soon, right? You know, but when, 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 since when they care about you, all right? Since when do they care about you? And and, and that's that's just what's going on. This what's going on with the people of the earth, and you know, and and Jake on a whole, two thirds of Jake. But this is Isaiah chapter sixty six and verse four. I will also choose their delusions, and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear. Right? They didn't hear. But they did evil before mine eyes and chose that which I delighted not. So this is why the Lord going to punish them and make them eat this filth, this filth, this, this waste of time food. Right? That's no good. This is Ezekiel chapter 4 and verse 12. It says, And thou shalt eat Salakia. Let's start a little high up. Ezekiel 4 and verse 10. It says, And thy meat which thou shalt eat shall be by weight. Right, so this is what they do, they limit it, limit limited it now, and then eventually they eliminate real meat, right? And have you eaten, you know, stuff made in a 3D printer or, or, or created in a lab, all right? So Ezekiel 4 and verse 10, and thy meat which thou shalt eat shall be that by weight, 20 shekels a day from time to time shalt, shalt thou eat it. So you can go eat your meat and that all the time, right? They're going to have full control of you, and even now the price, you know, these things going up. True hyperinflation, which is all a plan, right, to eliminate paper money, all right, leading to what control 
It's all about control. This is what they want. Okay? And thou shalt drink drink also water by measure, right? And the water is, you know, is not good anyway because mostly water have chlorine and fluoride, all these heavy metals, these things in it, uh, nanoparticles, you know? All right? Thou shalt drink also water by measure, the sixth part of a hen, from time to time thou shalt drink, that means you wouldn't be able to eat and drink as you want. And really, that really ultimately, that's what they want through their, through their universal basic income, which all of you who run and take that seat to the HEITP are going to be on. That's the program you're going to be on. All right? Verse 12 says, And thou shalt eat it as barley cakes, and thou shalt bake it with dung that cometh out of man, which is filth, waste. You know, you're going to be eating your own feces. All right? And in their sight. And Yahweh said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, where I will drive them. So this is what these devils have in store for you who wouldn't turn back. All right? Tell Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, we told you to turn back to the Lord. You know? We told you, we told you, we told you all these things, you know, and, and, and starting with the elders and the, elders and the apostles. But yet, you know, now we're seeing things happening. And you still wouldn't repent. Right? You still wouldn't change from your wicked ways. So guess what? You're going to have to pay. Right, this is Ezekiel chapter 4 and verse 16. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem. Right, Jerusalem is wherever um, Israel is. Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. All right, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment, because it's going to have a famine out here. All right, this is how they're going to bring in the control, one in major ways. You know, through fear that you wouldn't be able to eat. All right, true reduction of the food, the food uh, um, supply. All right, demand is going to be high. You know, and the supply is going to be low. Verse seventeen says that they may want bread and water, and be astonished one with another, and consume away for their iniquity. So this is this is what the Lord is bringing. All right, they're going to consume away. All right, now let's get let's get a, a couple more scriptures. Let's get a uh, Hosea. Hosea chapter 9. And um, I'll read from verse 1. It says, Rejoice not, O Israel, for joy as other people. For thou hast gone a whoring from thy power and hast loved a, loved a reward upon every corn floor, right? Which been false idols is what these jakes like. Chiefly says Re Bourget. Alright? The floor and the wine press shall not feed them. And new wine shall fail in her, right? They shall not dwell in the Lord's land, but Ephraim shall return to Egypt. Well, this is what's happening now. Ephraim, Ephraim has already been in Egypt, America, right? And shall eat unclean things in Assyria, right? Syria going into America again. It's garbage. This is what they're going to feed you. This is what they're feeding us now, but it's going to get even worse. All right, so step one, they're going to do remove the food, the real food, all right? And step two, you know, eliminate eliminate refrigeration and those things through what through their, their blackouts all right so you want people to store food you know and number three you know limit put limits on purchasing you know which is what they have now they started already flour limits on purchasing flour rice and baby formula all these fun, all these foundational from fun, fundamental foods things that you need to so-called live all right you know so the lord is sending us serious punishment and who's going to feel it the worst? A lot of the women going to feel it the worst. Now, Lord, don't get me wrong, Lord going to destroy a lot of men out here. Right? It says that in the scriptures and we go through that. But a lot of the women, man, you're going to feel it. Because you had it easy, you know. And then, you know, in, the, in this wicked society, you're not depending on a man to get the society provides everything for the woman. But when all that's taken away, hey, you hear what? You're going to be on the ground morning. Isaiah 32 and verse 9 says, Rise up, you women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters, give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall you be troubled, ye careless woman, for the vintage shall fail, right? That vintage, right? Uh, you, know, you know, the new wine, all right? The, uh, the, the crops, all right? That you like to eat. Food you like to go in the market and buy. Like you like, like to go in the grocery and buy. You're going to fail, and the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye woman, that are easy, troubled. You, um, be troubled, ye careless one, strip you and make you bear. And good sackcloth upon your loins, right? They shall lament for the treat the teats for the pleasant fields for the fruitful vine, right? They don't have no food. 
All right, that's why the Lord say hey, in Lamentation the fourth chapter, they won't be eating their own children, these women. They were eating dung, they were eating their own children. You know, and all these and these wicked two third jakes, hey, they're gonna get it too. Alright? They're gonna get it too. In fact, let me go, let me get second address, chapter 16. Verse 33, it says the virgin shall mourn. So these women are gonna mourn why? Having no bridegrooms, right? No men. The women shall mourn having no husbands. All these simp beta males, they're gonna be taken out. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. Alright, so they hey, they gonna they gonna be in trouble. They gonna have no food. Alright. In the war shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. Right? They're gonna perish of famine and they're gonna perish of being malnutrition, eating this filthy food. This is what the Lord is gonna to bring to pass. Isaiah. Let's get Isaiah chapter 3. And that's precept Isaiah chapter 3, verse 25. Thy men shall fall by the sword and by and thy mighty in the war. So they're gonna they're gonna fall by the sword because why? When you go to second Ezra 15, they're gonna be men up invading the house to take your goods, whatever you got, your goodies, alright, including your food. Alright? Women too, you know. But hey, let's go there quickly. It's like it's a second Ezra chapter 15. Alright. And uh and verse 17 say a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able right roadblock checkpoints military checkpoints verse, eight, verse 18 says for because of thy pride the city shall be troubled the houses mm -hmm. shall be destroyed right and men shall be afraid a man shall have no pity on his neighbor but shall destroy the houses with the sword and spoil their goods right because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation so that's why when you jump back to Isaiah, it's a chapter, you know, it says that, you know, they, they shall fall by the sword, right? The sword, they're going to, they're going to destroy the neighbor with the sword, they're going to in the houses, taking the food. And then I mighty in the war, right? And her gate shall lament, shall lament and mourn, and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. So these women are going to get good, right? They're going to be brought down low because of their wickedness, you know? They're going to be brought down low because of their wickedness. And those those beta males, you know, putting them up on a pedestal, they're gonna be taken out too. And a man of the Lord, a man of the Lord, a man of your Bashim Yahushai, gonna be like a hiding place from the wind. That's why the Lord is gonna feed us, he's gonna clothe us, he's gonna give us food to drink. Right? I see at the sixty-fifth chapter in thirteen verse on down. Alright, my servant shall eat and my servant shall drink. In fact, let me get it. Let me see if I can get a scripture here. Isaiah 32 and verse 2 it says and a man shall be a hiding place from a wind it's not any man it's a Hebrew Israelite man a man of the elect right he shall be a hiding place from the wind and a covered from the tempest yeah well the craziness that's going on Jacob's trouble as rivers of water in a dry place as a shadow of a rock in a weary land right so a woman gonna need that that shadow they're gonna need that that drink of that fresh cool water Right, which is what the man is going to be able to to, uh, to, to, to to give them. Okay? They're going to need that protection. And this is what it is. This is what it is. Alright, so with that, hey, these things coming. You know, you know, this 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 food, this um defiled food, right? Uh, uh killer food is coming. You know? And when for those of you who want to go and take that M to the A to the R to the K, that C to the H to the I to the P, guess what's going to happen to you? Right? They're going to be feeding you with a ship, with that poison. Right? And, you, and it's going to kill you. Alright? So that praise lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Destruction on this place, on the Babylon the Great, Abad Babal. Till next time, Shalom.